do you teach that people will be saved if they listen to you? Um, let's define saved, shall we? There is this concept in Christianity that somehow my blood saves people or my body saves people or faith in me saves people. None of these things actually save anybody. What is going to save a person from pain and suffering, if we're looking at what is the term saving? What is going to save a person from pain and suffering is living in harmony with all of God's laws of love. Mm -hmm. That is going to save a person from pain and suffering. If I share what I know as God's laws of love and truth, then I potentially am saving people by sharing that truth, but only by sharing the truth. I could liken it to a person who is rowing in a boat and there's a person drowning in the water. You can throw them a life raft of some kind, mm -hmm. a, li a life, what do they call buoy, them? Buoy, is buoy, or buoy, buoy, or yeah. you can throw them the life raft of some kind um, and in a way then you've saved them, right? You can pull them out of the water and then you've saved them. But that doesn't mean that you're better than them. It just means that you were in a position to give something that they needed mm -hmm. in order to get out of their current condition. That's all. So I do believe that if a person listens to the divine truth, they have the ability to be saved from pain and suffering. They do. Of course, they're going to have to go through some pain and suffering because mm -hmm. they, there's pain and suffering often stored in them emotionally before they feel saved. But secondly, this uh, option of this talk about being saved, I need to clarify more. And that is, I believe that we have the capacity of being turned into a new type of soul. I feel God made us one type of soul, which I would call the soul of the natural man, or the natural woman, natural humankind. That soul has the capacity to grow without God to the point of happiness, to the point of living in the sixth dimension of the spirit world if they've passed, or in living in perfect happiness and peace here on earth. Um, everyone could have different ideas and different concepts and everything, but live in complete peace with each other under that condition. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. I don't call that being saved. I call that being happy. To me, being saved is becoming at one with God. Once you become at one with God, this infinite realm of possibility becomes, it becomes possible. It, 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 everything that was before impossible is now possible. And this process of becoming at one with God is only available through God's process. It's not, no man, including myself, has designed the process. God designed it. And we have to either engage it or not engage it. That is our choice. It's like every one of other, every one of the other of God's laws. You either engage it or you don't. That is our, that is your choice. Mm -hmm. The beauty of engaging this wonderful law, this law of divine love, is that it can transform your soul into a new creature, one that is not bound by the by the finite controls of the original soul, and also by the finite laws that that original soul was constrained by. And that's what I'm teaching. I call that truly being saved. Truly being saved is becoming born again into this uh, loving arrangement with God where you are at one with God. And every new thing comes to you in that state. This is the state that we're trying to describe to people. So, so we have the capacity to be happy without having that state. But supreme or infinite happiness is not going to be possible without that state. And that's what I'd encourage people to do. So I do believe that if people listen to that, they will be saved. Mm -hmm. But uh, not by anything that I have done for them, but rather by everything that God has done for them. God is the person who created these laws. God is the person who created or gave her own love. Um, she is the person who heals us. I can't do that. I, so I can't heal another person. God's love heals the other person. The only way I can assist in the healing is by throwing the person the lifeboat, mm -hmm. by, by throwing the person the, the rope, if you like, that will pull them to that condition. And I can only do that because God threw me the rope in the first instance.